Okay, Jason and Cheryl, very patient cam loop uh, ites. <laughs> How you guys doing? Um, I want to introduce you to your new baby. Um, 20 foot, 2023, Trails West, RPM, Barant Edition. Uh, absolute gorgeous trailer. I love selling these because I know I'm going to have happy, happy, overjoyed clients who are happy with the purchases forever. And unfortunately, I'll never see you again because you'll never uh, need another one. But regardless, let's uh, go through this. I'm going to go quickly because uh, there is a lot to cover on this baby. Um, the 30 uh, pound tank upgrade uh, is what I have done on all of my trailers. It just makes so much sense. Um, you know, it's a 2023 because of the, um, first of all, painted in color uh, nose cone. It's not a brushed, uh, uh, sorry, polished aluminum anymore. Um, and also it lights up that RPM as you can see there beautifully. So uh, front door. Uh, this is a slam latch. Uh, it's patented Trails West technology. Um, for 2022, 2023, they've gone to aluminum tan bars. So there's no bleeding, there's no rust happening on those. And it's a slam latch. The idea is to do it all in one motion. And uh, you're gonna get the hang of that, I'm sure. Um, these covers, now these covers will um, come off pretty easily. This is an improved design. So trust me, this is better than it used to be, but um, not a bad idea to put a little grill glue in there or something just to hold them um, in place forever, okay? Uh, I'm gonna open up this front door so you can see inside. Uh, Trails West RPM's tallest and widest in the industry. Uh, that's new, it doesn't even go to the ground. Um, piano hinge on there, so that was a cinch to open and close. Get your traction blocks here. And we're gonna go inside the trailer. Shoot a little light on the subject. Master kill switch right above the man door here, as you see. Now that kill switch is really awesome as you're getting ready to, you're getting pumped, you're going out sledding and you wanna just hit that switch and go. All the radios, all the lights that were on are gonna go off. However, that big honking Dometic 40,000 BTU furnace is going to do its proper, correct cool down. So uh, they've moved that onto a totally separate circuit now uh, for the 2022, 2021s even. Um, uh, so you do get that benefit as well. Uh, let's go through, um, starting from the left and going to the right, egress window, tinted and screened. They know people are gonna be sleeping in here. There is a onboard carbon monoxide detector hardwired for that reason, okay? But it does say clearly, do not sleep in this area as per their regulations. Um, so tinted and screened. You've got outside lamps, it just came on, uh, and the inside is on and off. Um, they've added for, uh, I think it was 2021 or 2022, the lower, um, LED lights so you're able to work on your uh, tracks on your sleds here with those lights so really awesome addition there thanks uh, Chris Brandt um, even this the handle used to be uh, over here so when this door was open uh, it was uh, hard to um, actually pull it from the uh, inside of the trailer you had to actually go outside but uh, so then moving it there was a really smart upgrade uh, doors frozen I'm going to uh, show you how that works but let's go over to the uh, furnace I already hear it kicking on because it's so darn cold out there. And uh, the beauty of this is, uh, and we've got a lot of people that do this, they um, hang their wet gear, hang their, put their wet slides in here, set the furnace for a couple hours, and as they're driving home, it's drying off all their goodies. There's no more days of hauling your wet gear into the house after the, a big long day of wonderful riding to ruin it. So you just leave it in here nice and toasty. So let's talk about the furnace. It's 70% um, blowing into the room and 30% is going to be shared between the track melt you see here, uh, pumping hot air under your sleds, the heated helmet holder you see here, that one's dry, and the uh, heated glove hooks here, you guys come out of here, and the boot warmers here. So a week, 30% shared amongst those guys, 70% into the room. It's a good mix. Nothing gets uh, singed or anything. Uh, uh, everything's nice and toasty dry when you get back home. The onesie rack here is nicely above the track melt as well. So the onesies are getting good and toasty after. Uh, we'll go outside and open that ramp just to show you how that works. But you've got the uh, tallest and widest in the industry at um, 82 inches tall, 92 inches wide a full over 99 inch wide inside trailer. Um, let's go to this wall now. As I said, dry storage in here. You've got your bungee straps, tie downs here. Uh, yes, Chris Brandt thinks of everything. This is new for 2022. Um, the uh, utilities rack, WD-40s, your paper towels. Um, these awesome benches came in in about uh, 2021, I think, 2020 maybe even. Um, and it's a two-handed job, but it's a ratchet style system. I'll just do that. It flows 
goes flush with the wall, beautiful, beautiful. You're able to utilize that even when you have a sled in here, which is a big improvement over how it used to be. More hooks, tons of hooks. Place to keep your um, paperwork, your registrations. Here's the, uh, oh, I haven't set this up at all. Um, the the uh, stereo, the JVC stereo with the kicker sub, lots of um, USB ports, additional USB ports, and uh, it's got a voltage meter um, for the two batteries, which will go down and see those. So they are branch uh, six volt deep cycle batteries. Um, one is primarily used just to uh, start the furnace and the other one is going to operate all the other goodies. So we always have that. Oh, the Herman Oxider came online as we expected. Um, this is a panel, so that's where your fuses are. There's additional space in that panel, by the way, if you did want to add an electrical something onto there. And if you're an electrician that could do that, not me. Um, of course, fire extinguisher, uh, the stereo, uh, beer cup holders, you've got them there. Oh, we did add the tie downs for you guys. I think that's an excellent, excellent idea. Um, it reminds me, I've got uh, two per track uh, for the Quickly D rings that I'll get into the trailer right after this video. Um, and uh, I'll tell you more about that when I see you, but those tie downs are a super good idea. Let's just go back out. I'm using the power of my truck to get power to the trailer. Um, you've got um, bulletproof um, Dexter 3,500 pound axles and you've got 10 ply tire upgrades. So you've got a total of, I think it's 4,400 pounds per axle capacity. Okay, this beautiful step was improved. Um, over, I think in 2020, they, they sort of doubled the capacity. Then they added a super grid right here for traction. So totally awesome. But that'll go flush there when you're transporting. Um, I think I left it locked, I did. Uh, we're coming here, the outside uh, porch light. Um, outside here, you've got the ability to put load lights. Now what I did with that toggle switch, I operated uh, the uh, rear and the front ramps. Uh, easy to operate even with gloves on, as you can see. Uh, more of the cam bar latches. Boom, boom. You see an additional set of lights there. That's actually reverse lights. So you've got the ability to put backup lights on when you put reverse on the truck. So, love it. Okay, um, I wish you could, I don't know if you guys got to do this, but this is a lot of material, it's a lot of door that I'm one handy and I'm not the strongest guy out there, but that's an awesome piano hinge, sorry, the hinge system that Charles West has patented on there uh, works wonderfully. It also eliminated the need for cables on here, so it was allowing you to add the height to the doors up to 82 inch. So I'm thinking side by sides, I don't know what you guys are thinking, but, uh, oh, it's already getting dark, shoot. Uh, fully undercoated. Oh, that's impossible to see. Fully undercoated as well as factory. And those troughs where the heat comes out, um, they are um, fully insulated. And there are actually um, wing nuts and bungs, and you're not going to see it, uh, to drain um, uh, after your riding season's over in case water did build up in there, which is a possibility. It's an, on purpose not airtight and not, sorry, not watertight um, for that reason. There it is. Uh, I'm on schedule to. See you guys uh, between 12 and 1 tomorrow. So this is getting real, okay? Uh, look forward to it. Any other questions, let me know. Thanks, guys. See you soon. Take care.